about Dave Aguilera tomorrow? A good day to visit the zoo? Uh, oh, yeah. I think the sloths will be happy with the weather forecast for tomorrow. First day of winter, it's going to feel more like spring coming our way. Today wasn't too shabby. It was all a little cool, but not as windy as what we had yesterday. And we had mostly clear skies, just a few clouds drifting over the northern part of the state. Nice to get that sunshine, all from a high pressure ridge that's forming over the southwest and moving in here. But already on top of this ridge, there's a cold front moving into California, Washington, and Oregon. And that's going to have an effect on our weekend. Now, tomorrow, we'll be on the top of this ridge. We're going to get a good southwesterly wind around here that uh, will boost our temperatures up. It'll be a downsloping wind for us, so it'll be uh, good for us uh, to feel good at least tomorrow. Then the cold front comes through tomorrow night. Ahead of it, we might have a little bit of snow in the mountains, but by Saturday morning, look what happens. A little cold shot comes in. We could have snow in the mountains and snow on the plains, including Denver all the way up to Cheyenne as that little wave moves through here. Then it'll clear out Saturday night. We'll turn our attention to this guy, which may eventually move into uh, Denver and uh, most of Colorado coming up on Christmas night, not on Christmas Eve, but on Christmas night, and that could deliver a real cold wave and some pretty good snowfall coming our way by the time we get to the middle of next week after the holiday. So uh, that could be problematic. Some of the models are showing some big snow by then, so we'll see what happens. For the weekend, though, here's what we're looking at. At least Saturday night into Sunday could have about three to six inches of snow in the mountains, and we could have a shot of smaller amounts here from Denver all the way out over the northeastern plains. So for our city, again, and it'll be Saturday morning into the afternoon, maybe a half inch to an inch for Denver, a little more than that once you get up into Loveland, Fort Collins, and Greeley, shooting out to the northeast. But it'll be a quick kind of hit and get system the way things look. Until then, it's going to be pretty nice. Today was not bad. 48 for the high at DIA, 50 downtown, and normal is 42, so above normal today, believe it or not. It's 43 in the city right now, and DIA has already dropped down to 30 degrees out there, kind of cold out there. So the future cast into tonight, mostly clear skies across the state this evening. Tomorrow in the morning, we get a little shot with a little bit of light snow in the northern mountains tomorrow. That'll spread down south, maybe uh, an inch or two in some locations. But for us, it'll be clear to partly cloudy and a little breezy during the day tomorrow. Overnight lows, cold in the mountains, of course, will be in the 20s and teens down low and high temperatures tomorrow. The computer kind of color codes the warm stuff and the warm stuff will be here in the east with the downslope. We will be in the 50s and 60s across the eastern plains tomorrow. All right, mostly clear and chilly tonight, 27 for the overnight low tomorrow. 62 in the city, 60 at the airport. The winter solstice arrives at 323. Party at Jim's house for that one. Yay. All right, let's do it. And then over the weekend, we cool down into the 40s. Still that chance of snow coming in on Saturday. Monday and Christmas will be in the 40s. And then Christmas night into... Wednesday, good chance of snow here in Denver and colder air coming in. Still too early to give you snow amounts, but a couple of the models have this uh, to be a, a pretty big snowstorm across the eastern plains coming up. Well, we will look forward to that. All right. We kind of miss it. Thanks, Dave. You got it. And you know, Romy, despite the fact the teams are going in the wrong direction, <laughs> pour some eggnog on Christmas Eve. It's the Broncos and the Raiders. Right? I know at first, like, ew, neither of these yeah, teams are in the playoffs. Watching. Right? We'll be watching. But listen, if you thought there was nothing on the line for Monday's Broncos Raiders game, think again. Come on.